Welcome back, True Seeker. Very quickly, want to cover the false flag, Tennessee, September 24th, 2017, a Sunday. Reportedly, there was a church shooting and seven people were injured. Very much like the seven churches of Revelation, the final book of the Bible. This happened in Antioch, Tennessee. And right away, if you're not aware, there's one place in the Bible that the word Christian is used. And it's in regards to the Christians of Antioch who created the first Christian church. August 5th, 2015, Antioch, Tennessee had a false flag shooting at a movie theater. And just so you can see this real quick, when that happened in 2015, we didn't know reverse gematria, but we did know the significance of 58 and 85 in the history of theater shootings. In fact, if my channel were still existing, which Google deleted, just days before the Antioch theater shooting, I showed this pattern of 58, 85 and recent false flags, how they connected to all the past theater shootings we'd heard about. And then boom, another one happened in Antioch on August 5th. 8 slash 5 as we write it in the U.S. The reason I'm showing you that is to understand this town, no doubt under Masonic rule, just like the majority of towns are in this nation, and again, it is the Freemasons in control of police, media, government, who are staging these false flags to build their agenda, their police state, which in Masonry is known as the Order of the Quest, as written about by Manly P. Hall. Supposedly, the order of the quest is to create a one-world government based in democracy and philosophy, but apparently this is what it looks like. You know, the police state running on fear and militarism. So here it was, the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ. Look at this. Right away, what stood out to me about this church was the Gematria of 33. Burnett, 33, just like Sunday, just like Bible, just like good book, like false flag, like police, like masonry, like secrecy. All of the gematria for Burnett is Masonic. Z Freemason has gematria 48 in Hebrew and English. Zionism and masonry 105. Anything that's 111 translates to 666 Sumerian. We got a 666 on the Burnett Chapel. Check it out. <clears throat> On top of the 33, my goodness, tain, chain text. 33. Tennessee, as a state where this happened, has gematria of 137, which is the 33rd prime number. So, whole lot of 33 here. And Burnett, the cherry on top. It was also 924, September 24th, 9 plus 24 is 33 for one more 33. In Tennessee, not only did they have the shooting, they had some NFL football and couldn't help but notice the Tennessee Titans won with 33 points. And once upon a time, they used to be the Houston Oilers, Oilers, 33. Sunday was 33 weeks after the Super Bowl being hosted in Houston, where Again, it used to be the Houston Oilers who became the Tennessee Titans. Interesting, they beat the Seahawks with 33. The Seahawks, one of the few teams in the league with a 33 gematria, the only team to win the Super Bowl on the 33rd day of the year. I also want to make a point about this church being in Antioch. Antioch's written about in Acts, which is the 44th book of the Bible. The 44th book. Shooting equals 44. Kill 44, Officer 44, Department 44. It's the police that puts on these false flags. Make sure they're executed. Yesterday's date also. Date with 52 numerology. Tennessee has the Gematria 52, as well as 47 like Christian. Again, 137, the 33rd prime. At the church shooting in Charleston, Dylan Stormroof. It was fire truck number 106 that pulled up up front. In the church bombing of the 60s, the 16th Street church bombing, it was on a date with 106 numerology, number of authority as well. So Tennessee has this familiar geometry. We've talked about it in Tennessee false flags of the past. Notice the first call came when the hands of the clock 
we're on the 11 and the 3. 11, 15 is when the hands of a clock are on the 11 and 3. Let me take you back to the 2015 false flag real quick with regards to 113. They said the theater shooting happened at about 1.13 p.m. Remember, mainstream equals 113, dishonest 113, and the Talmud, Baba Kama 113a says it's okay to lie to somebody who isn't Jewish. It's okay to lie to a Gentile. 113, the shooter's name was Montano, and from the day it happened, August 5th, 2015, to November 26th, which is the original Thanksgiving date, was 113 days. And the reason I looked at why it was from the shooting to November 26th is because the verse about Antioch is 1126. And we know the numbers in the Bible are what the New World Order uses for their code. From times on a clock to dates on a calendar. Again and again, working by the Bible code. Antioch, the only place where the word Christian is mentioned in the Bible. They said the shooter was this African dude. This happens at the same time that the NFL is promoting a race war with the national anthem debate. A lot of things are interesting about his name. The Gematria of 90 is the same as Holy Bible. 108, the same as Geometria. Geometry, excuse me. 189, having to do with reincarnation, Christian concept. His name, Emmanuel, biblical name, Gematria of 26, just like God, like pastor, like faith, like baptism. The word church equals 101, which is the 26th prime number. If you missed my work on the Mexico earthquake and the people who supposedly died getting a baptism on a Tuesday afternoon, if you missed that story, it was coded all up and down with 101 and 26. So very biblical numbers, you know, church shooting. They said the shooter's last name was Samson, which in the Gematria format that's a tribute to Greek and Hebrew. His name sums to 351. If you add the numbers 1 through 26 together, they sum to 351. Number, again, connected to church and God. The word temple has gematria 26. So a number of things interesting about his name. I have them written up here on the screen. But that 26 is the real standout number. Emmanuel and then Samson how it also connects with the first name. All signs. And I've said before, it's entirely possible that what's going on in the world is there are people who are being essentially raised to create these uh, events. You know, they're being programmed like robots and being used like puppets to make the news headlines. Whatever happened in this town with this man... He was put up to this. And it's hard to say, you know, exactly what's going on. There's a lot going on in this world that most of us don't know about. Again, I'll bring this up. More than a year ago, sat in a meeting in Seattle listening to a woman tell her experience about being raised as an MK Ultra experiment. Her own family put her in it. And she was programmed. And she became essentially a, a vessel that somebody else was in control of. And through all sorts of techniques, they could steer her to do what they wanted. Simple programming techniques. So I just wonder, I mean, who else is this being done with? Are they, are they doing this and creating their little patsies for their false flags to build their agenda? This man has a very African name. He looks very African. Where did he come from? You know, what's going on here? And look at this goon, this bald, chubby, fat, white officer stuffed into his uniform. It's just sick, truth seeker. Sick. Might be his MK Ultra handler right there. You just don't know. Just some other notes, too. Antioch and Tennessee share that gematria of 34. And maybe I didn't put it up there, but... The word church also has the gematria of 34. Shooting in Antioch, Tennessee. Let me just get it up there so you can see. Church also 34 again. The first mention of, or the only mention of Christian in the Bibles in regards to the church of Antioch. You see? And all this gematria is so important. Of the seven churches in Revelation, Philadelphia, the original capital of this nation. Whoops, what did I spell wrong? Phil, uh, missed the D. 
Notice Philadelphia, 61 and 101, just like church, 61 and 101. And then Christian, 61. Christmas, 61. Jesus, 61, also 34. Cross, you see? See how this goes? So I wanted to cover that. People got to learn to see what's really going on in this world, truth seeker. Same stuff again and again, mockery. See, they mock us because they know that we're a society that's been raised on entertainment. We don't know much about history. We don't know much about anything besides entertainment, brand logos, you know, where we want to eat, what we want to buy next. This is how it is. The powers that shouldn't be who've raised us to be this way, they like to mock us with what we don't know. False flags in Antioch. By the numbers, I'm sure we'll see it again. Might have to wait till 2019, but the day will surely come. Unless we put an end to it before then, which is my goal, you know? So let me know if you want to help me out. If you want to help me out, share these videos. Don't worry if you share them on social media and people just make fun of you. Who cares? Worry about the people who watched it, who it did have an impact on. And the majority of those people, you know, they're not brave enough to speak up. You share this information, there's people who are going to watch, who are going to understand. That's the way it has to happen. And what you have to do is be willing to deal with the ridicule of all the sheep, the very sheepish people who mock truth. Just realize that's your reality. And if you're scared of it, you know, that's cowardice. All right, truth seeker. Until next time.